I drink this mint tea. Someone sent me um, a tea bag. It's a it's like natural mint tea. Oh my gosh, I'm hooked on the iced mint tea. It's so good. My name is Mary Egbert, and I am from Kamash Fiber Arts. I'm also a fiber arts teacher, and I have uh, multiple classes online at the Kamash School of Fiber Arts, and in um, specifically my drum carding class, which will sort of coincide with what you're learning today. Um, I'm not really going to go through carding as much as we are going to look at the different carders. I have five different ones. I'd really like more. <laughs> I just, I'm really addicted to carders. I, oh, and dizzes. Oh my gosh, I have so many. I'm going to show you guys some stuff. Um, so we'll kind of go over the mechanics of a drum carder, what makes other drum carders different from other ones. And, you know, drum carders are kind of like wheels. It's what fits you. And I remember, um, I know you guys know who Bren Boone is, but I remember when she came on the scene and she had the, um, the most amazing yarn. If you don't know Bren Boone, you have to go look at her. And she was even accused of lying because her yarn was so beautiful and gorgeous. You have to see it. So anyway, people were like, well, what kind of wheel are you, you using? And they would get that wheel and they're like, well, I can't spin like her because you don't know what Bren knows. And it's the fundamentals of spinning that she knows. And it's the same thing with the carters because to a point, to a point, because some people will say, um, what are you using to card that bat with? And then I'll tell them and then they may get it and they don't have the same results because it's the fundamentals of carding that you really should know. Um, to be able to card really amazing stuff, right? And also the nuances of each carter, because some carters can be adjusted, some can't. Why do you want to adjust them? And why don't you want to adjust them? So, um, <laughs> Erica, more high tech than your girlfriend. Your bats are gorgeous, really beautiful. And there's more than one way to feed in fiber there's more than one way to create a bat but gosh what was i was just listening to somebody he's an astrophysicist and he does all this online stuff and he's kind of like you need what you don't know you don't know and the more you learn the more you know and it's the same thing with spinning and carding and all those pieces fall into place and then then you know okay so let's um we have about 30 people here and it's 104. So I tell you what, let's start with um, a small carter first and then we'll kind of work up to the biggest one that I have and we'll just kind of discuss the different things about them. And I'll take any questions. I have my phone here so I can see if there's any questions. So pardon me for um, holding my phone. All right, so the first carter we're going to look at is, let me get my camera set up here. And I'm going to move to the other side. So, um, okay, so this is an Ashford Wild Carter. And <clears throat> Ashford came out with a, let me see if I can show you guys the top, if I can move this down. Always, always something to try and do when you're doing live. And I don't normally, <laughs> I normally tape my classes, but uh, tape my demos. But this time I thought, oh, I'm going to go ahead and do it live. <laughs> um, okay, so this is the Ashford Wild Carter. And it's only, the drum is only about four inches wide because it's more of a roving carter. Um, it still makes a bat but they call it a roving carter. I don't know why, maybe to be different, maybe to be unique, but see how um, narrow that is? They have these um, little guides here to keep your fiber away from the edges of the drum here because they get stuck in the cogs and they get stuck in the, the bearings and it's really hard to get that fiber art out. It also has a little adjustable brush that you can push down on here and you can tighten it here and then you a card and this will help um, oops wrong way sorry <laughs> did you guys catch that it's the wrong way 
<laughs> okay, let me put my stuff down. I know somebody caught it. Okay, so it goes that way. It goes on this drum. So it helps burnish the um, the fibers down, but you can also use a burnishing brush to help pack it in a little bit more um, to be able to get that two ounces of fiber. We'll talk about the tools after we look at the carters um, because there's a lot of different tools and a lot of different uses for the tools. Now the first thing about a drum carter that we'll, we're going to talk about, this is your liquor in drum. This is the drum that does the carding action. So when you card, this drum goes that way, this drum goes this way. So it pulls the fiber in and deposits it on the, the main drum. Now when you feed fiber on top of the main drum, it's not carding. It's not getting carded. But you know what? Sometimes you may want that. You may want that in an art bat or um, some other fiber that you feed on here that gets caught in the liquor in because it's just a little bit too fine. This carter has a poly. Um, it's not a chain drive, just a belt, a poly belt, so it goes all the way around here. And I've used this quite often. These belts don't slip. And in fact, all the carters I have, um, let's see, they're all poly except for the Strouch. It's a chain drive, and we'll talk more about that. Um, they never slip off. I never have any issues with these. But if something does happen to this, contact the manufacturer because they probably sell different parts for that. Okay, and this is the little doffer pin that goes in there and it kind of sits here and there is the Ashford logo now here is the handle and I want you to listen can you hear I don't know if you can hear that but these drums are hitting each other the issue with that let me back up a minute the um Oh my gosh, there's a carter and the drums do, the teeth do mesh. But when you look inside here, these pins are kind of popping because this is hitting it. So I'm not sure that that's really a great thing to happen because it may loosen these pins over a period of time. But you can adjust the drums in or out. Now, if you have a short fiber coming through here and you want to card something short, if you have a drum carter that has adjustable drums, bring those drums a little bit closer together but not touching. If you want more art bats, bring those drums a little further apart. Look at your manufacturer's um, details because like Strouch says don't touch the drums, they're already preset. Um, with Brother, they encourage you, to, encourage you to move the drums. So, you know, it's really just looking at um, what the manufacturer says. This is an older one and it has laminated wood. I'm not sure if this is what they um, make them out of anymore, but this is really a nice, it's a nice little carter and the pins are really deep. So that's pretty cool. So you can really get a lot on there. Um, let me get back to the video. And um, it doesn't, I mean, it's a, it's a 52 TPI. It's not, nope, this is a 72 TPI, but it's not, I mean, even 72 TPIs don't blend as well as a higher TPI. And when I talk about TPI, I'm talking about uh, teeth per inch or tines per inch. So you would actually take an inch, look at an inch, and count how many tines are in that inch. So the higher the TPI, the better the blending capability. In my experience, you may have some other experience, which is, it's cool because everybody does have their own, own experience. Okay, one thing about this carter because the um, handle goes past the base of the, um, the housing. This has to be put on the edge of a table and there's clamps that fit in here, but this is really a cute little carter and it's one of my cutesy favorite carters. Okay, let me go grab another one. Give me, um, give me just a second. I'll go grab something else. So when I was doing my carding um, class online, I was like, I want to show these carters, but I kind of want a neat way to show them and to be able to move around everything. So I found this really big Lazy Susan. <laughs> it works 
perfectly. Oh my gosh, it's so awesome. All right, let me grab the paper for this one. This is the Clemis and Clemis, the Elite Convertible. Another beautiful Carter that all my Carters are my favorites. I just love them all. I just love Carters, but this one really is beautiful. And um, let, me, let me turn this. Uh, Okay, I'm trying to turn my sound down. You had a problem. Sandra says she had a problem with the poly belt. When summer heat comes, it stretches. That's a great um, thing to remember that um, don't do it outside in the heat. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Louette Classic Meshes. Christine, that's exactly it. That's the one. That is it. Thank you for that clarification. The Louette Classic, though, does not blend super well but it does really great art bats. Okay, so this is the Clemis and Clemis, and I uh, the, sometimes they say Clems and Clems, and I've talked to the owners, and um, they'll say they can call us whatever they want, as long as they buy our corners. <laughs> but they're Roy and his, um, the two, the husband and the, I'm sorry, the father and the son travel around the country, or used to, to all these different festivals, and they are really amazing men that make really amazing carters. Um, this one is solid wood. It's absolutely gorgeous. And they have this, um, like a Formica thing. But what I like about this is it's, a, it's slippery. I don't want anything with a lot of friction because I want to be able to push that fiber in. So this is very nice. Let me bring this up just a little bit. They have a red line here to show you don't pass the red line with your fingers. <laughs> your fa Safety with drum carters are super important. You want to make sure you not get hurt when you use these or other people that are kind of around. So keep your kids away, keep fiber away from the sides of the drum so things don't get cut. They also have these little blocks to keep the fiber away from this area. It's really important to clean your carter and um, get in here and clean these little um, and I think I have some in there. Once they get really um, loaded up, you're going to have a really hard time turning it or you're going to have to take the carter apart. So keep your carter clean. Keep these little um, spaces clean. Use, um, and I'm going to show you some tools a little bit later. Okay, so what's really cool about this one is it has a little handle, which is really nice. And um, the handle clears the table this is really lovely so you can use this carter in the middle of a table and not have to worry about the um, handle hitting the edge so you can use it pretty much anywhere let me just move this over a little bit <clears throat> another really cool thing about this is you can okay so i'm going to push this in and pull this out and you can move this anywhere you want which is kind of neat when you're taking a drum off. So say I want to take this drum, but this is in the way. I just put, pop it, move it out of my way. So this is really nice. Oh, and the handle, um, well, it comes off. It unscrews. So I won't do it right now because I can't seem to get in there. Um, solid wood. These uh, big drums are about 8 inches wide. It's a 72 TPI. Again, you have this poly band that goes through all these little things here. Um, the drums are adjustable again on this one. You can clamp this to the table if you want, or you can put it in the middle of your table and put some sort of non-skid um, stuff underneath your carter so you can put it in the middle of the table. Um, if you want to, this one runs $1,275. If you want to convert it to electric, the base is $1,355. They do have two smaller carters. Uh, one's $850, and then they also have a, a narrow one like the um, roving carter that's, I think, even a little bit less expensive. Um, anyway, beautiful. So their biggest selling point is that the, um, the pins are sharpened, that they card very well. I just really love love this carter um, what else can i say about it roy and henry yes roy, they're gonna kill me because i met him a bunch of times uh, um, oh the link is broken to the drum carding class okay cindy i will fix that later 
And uh, Story asks, is it typical that most carters are easy to swap out the drums? It just depends on the manufacturer and you um, really should kind of look at their website and um, see what they offer. I know there's one that has different drums that you could buy. I think they're in the UK or New Zealand. And um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so let's um, go on to the next one. Okay, this is another favorite carter of mine. This is the Strouch Mad Batter. And I remember when these came out, um, Strouch um, actually designed this because people would, were doing more out, art bats and he wanted to, um, you know, rise up to the challenge and uh, give fiber artists another way to make art bats. But what's really cool about this um, Carter. Let me see if I can get in there. This is a chain drive. Okay, and there's the cog right here. So let's talk a little bit about chain drives and poly bands. Now I see a lot of people um, making those sandwich, and it used to be in the day about 10 years ago, it was very popular um, with a couple of the art, um, art bat people is to make a sandwich, load up your fiber, and then push it through your drum carter. But here's the issue. There's a couple problems with that. If you push a lot of fiber through this carter and it start and you're binding it down, you're going to damage these um, gears. You're also going to risk the risk bending some pins. You know, you got if you want to do it, you go ahead and do it, and um, just be cautious and be careful. And um, if, like I said, if you're pushing through a lot of fiber, you're going to cause some issues with this one. With the poly bands, the poly bands may just slip, and then you won't get any traction. But these are so expensive, and I baby them because they they need to last me a long time. This is not a throwaway item, just like a just like a a um, a spinning wheel. I mean, you know, you wouldn't abuse it. That's kind of like abuse. It's like, oh my gosh. So, and let me get a sip of something. Hang on. Speaking of abuse, so in Florida, if you touch a manatee or feed a manatee, it's abuse. <laughs> oh, you're, wait, what? you're molesting them. And you can actually go to jail for it. So speaking of abuse. All right, so this has a nice metal feed-in um, tray, which um, is nice and slippery and it doesn't have a lot of friction. Use caution and keep your hands clear. These, this liquor in has like little knives. I mean, it's really kind of interesting. Um, I kind of like it. It's kind of neat, but be careful. Don't touch those. <laughs> They're very sharp. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you about the Clemis, Clemis, Clemis and Clemis. If you turn over the carter, they stamp in when they make it and the number carter it is. And on the um, inside of this, um, Otto Strouch signed it and the date and the number carter. So it's really kind of cool. Um, so if you have a carter, turn it over and look and see if they had signed it. This is the um, the little doffer brush. You just push it down and adjust it. It's okay. I mean, this is really nice for fine fibers, and they even tell you in the uh, manual that it's more for the finer fibers. I like to use a doffer brush as well to get as much as I can on there, just because um, you know if you want to do a four ounce bat, these usually do about three and a half comfortably, but you can push four ounce four ounces on there if you absolutely need to have a four ounce bat. Um, again, 72 TPIs, one half inch long pins. Uh, the large drum is seven inches in diameter and um, let's see, eight and, eight and a quarter inches. It's eight and a quarter inches high and seven inches wide. Um, it makes a bat that's eight inches wide by 22 inches long, but don't, don't um, expect a 22 inch long long bat if you have fiber that's very springy because it's going to shrink a little bit. So anyway, this is their little trough. They all have little troughs. They're either metal or plastic. 
Um, the Louette Classic has wood with a little groove in it, and this is where you would take the bat off, off on. Again, you can use this in the middle of the table if you want to put a non-skid um, material underneath the carter. It does have, oh, I don't think this even has, oh yeah, it has uh, clamps because I don't even use them. <laughs> this has clamps if you want to put it on the edge of a table. This has little handles here, which is nice. So this is the Strouch Mad Batter. I love this Carter. Love, I love them all. Like kids, I love them all. <laughs> okay, let me go grab a brother. Hold on. Okay, this is how I stay in shape. These carters are not light. Oh my gosh, and the big one? Oh, I almost threw my back out today picking that thing up. But we'll, we'll show you that in a little while. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I will try to answer what I can. All right, this is the Brother Deluxe Brother Drum Carter. And they actually put this drum carter in the base I believe of the electric drum carter. This is really very hefty. It's nice and solid. They do a beautiful job. They do a polyurethane finish to protect the wood so it's really beautiful. And what's really, oh you can adjust the drums here which is kind of nice. This also has the brush at the top to adjust. The um, handle clears the table so you can um, card in the middle of the table. Let's see if it has. I don't even think this one has clamps just because it's so heavy. It ain't going anywhere. But again, if you're pushing through a lot of fiber, this may be moving around. So put some non skid and it does have some little pads under here. This is a really cool feature on this one. Let me, um, let's see. Let me show you this if you could see it. This little tray comes out. So as um, Erica showed you a picture of when she carded all the stuff that fell at the bottom, and um, this is kind of a nice little feature that it actually, you can pull it out and just clean it off. So who thought, I mean, who, th who thought about looking under your carter? And I'm sure the first time you moved your carter, you went, oh my gosh, that is a lot of, that's a lot of stuff. Again, the poly drive band. And let's see, what else? This makes a 3.5 to 4 ounce bat. Oh, these, this is what's really cool about these carters. You can get right-handed or left-handed. I mean, that's the only, this is the only one I know of, but I don't know all the carters. So I'm right-handed. So if I, if I do it left-handed, I have to actually face back and then I have to cross over to feed in fiber. So it's kind of neat. It's, unless you have electric, which doesn't matter, but this kind of neat that you can do right or left handed. And what's interesting about the brother is you can get uh, you get your choice of TPI. You can do 54, 72, 90, this is 90, that's what I chose, 120 and 190. I mean 190 is insane, insane. So I don't know um, if I've never used one. I don't know if I ever will. <laughs> but this is a really beautiful Carter. This is the brother. Um, Deluxe Brother Drum Carter. Brother has a lot. Oh, this does not come with accessories, by the way. All the other ones do. This one you have to buy the accessory kit separate, which is about $90. Um, what was I going to say? I can't remember. Um, but let me, let's just talk real quick about just carters in general. Now, each manufacturer you talk to, just like, um, just like any good company will say their carter is the best. <laughs> and each carter has its own little nuances. And again, you need to choose which carter is right for you. But let's look at something that's kind of interesting. Each carter has a main drum. Each carter has a liquor in. Each carter has 
the trough. Each carter has a handle if it's manual. Each carter has a feed-in tray, just like a wheel. Each wheel has um, a flyer and a bobbin and a big wheel and a mother of all and treadles if it's a manual and all that stuff. So they're similar in the sense of their job, but you as the card E need to learn the fundamentals of carding and to get the best out of your fiber and your colors and your blending to learn. So this is really interesting. There was a, a, a Facebook page today and they talked about how to get consistent yarn and people said practice, practice, practice. Well, you can practice, 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 but if you don't know the fundamentals or never took a class, how do you know what to practice? And that's the same thing with a carter. Um, okay, let's move on to um, let's move on to the to the deluxe brother Carter. This is the um, big electric one. Let me move this out of the way, and then we will go over the tools um, in a moment too. So don't go away. All right, this is the brother. Let's move this down a little bit. This is the super card, and this is the this Carter. Um, is a replica of the Patrick Green triple drum carter. In fact, they say that they are made with 95% of the parts of the originals and the brother, okay, so two brothers own brother, fan, t all, the, all the owners are fan fantastic. I mean, I just never had, I just love them all and they will bend over backwards for you and do what they can to give you the best experience or the best everything. I mean, they are really awesome, awesome people. They, they, ha they uh, reside in Oregon. Um, I don't know about the Clemens and Clemens, but I know the Strouch is free shipping, Brothers free shipping, this is free shipping. It's quite heavy. This is about um, 50 pounds and this pushes my strength limit. <laughs> I'll tell you, but for my age, I'm trying to keep it together. All right, so let's look at, um, the um, safety features of this carter. This is the on off switch and it comes with a little lock and key so you can lock this and nobody can turn it on because with electric carters you need to be very conscious of safety. Uh, no long hair, no long scarves, keep your kids away, your dogs away, anybody away that wants it because kids love to play with these things. Pickers and oh my gosh they love to play with spinning wheels so keep you safe, keep your family safe, and anyway, so that's the little lock that comes with it, so you can't turn it on. And um, the plug is attached to the back, so you can't remove it, <clears throat> but it doesn't matter because you have that lock. All right, on this side it has the poly band for the main drum, and then let me turn, let me come over here. Whoops, Ooh, I not, may not be able to go all the way. I think I'm gonna have to move the carter in my exercise for today. And then you have the, so there's two um, carding drums. So you have the poly band for this one and then the poly band for the bottom one. But because you have, it's a three drum system, this thing blends like crazy. If you open up your fibers well and feed this in, I mean, even just one pass would be amazing, amazing. Um, there's amps, they give you extra amps. Um, down here is the speed control. You can go from, let me get my, let me get my specs just so I don't misquote what the speeds, because this is a adjustable speed carter. Let's see. It goes from 80 to 1 to 500 to 1. So what that means is every time this turns one full revolution, because these turn the same speed, this will turn 500 times. This always, this is the same speed all the time. I'm going to turn it on because I want to show you guys. And then this will go faster or slower. I prefer oh, a little bit slower. I mean, you should card slow anyway because um, if, you, if you card really fast, especially if you're doing um, comb top. The comb top gets little loopy loos in it and it's, um, you just shouldn't card fast. Anyway, let's see here. Okay, I'll go ahead and turn that on. 
Oh, yeah. Cheryl Newhouse is getting a, a double-wide electric brother Carter. And she has my carding class. <laughs> okay. So, yep. Any day. It's in, the, it's in the mail. All right. So, there we go. This, uh, let me turn this slow. So, look how slow this is going. Slow. And then I can turn it up. And there, that's as fast as it goes. Now, some of the conversation has been, what do I card fine fibers on? Well, it depends on how fine your fiber is, right? So if you, okay, fine grade fibers are anywhere from 14 to 22 microns. So if you have something that's very fine, I don't care how slow you go, you're still going to get some depths because the, the fiber is very delicate. Um, I have a YouTube video on carding fine Rambo on this. Ch look at it. Um, I mean, there's a little bit of naps in it. It may be fine for what you want. So it's just your decision of what you want to do and what um, is your end result. Okay, so let me move. Let's go through some tools. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way.